everyone. I am back at another theme park, baby. But it's a special type of day. It's uh, Galactic Nights, but as you can already tell, it ain't night, it's daytime. It's a galactic day. We're walking around Hollywood Studios. Gonna see all the spoilers of The Last Jedi. And as you can already tell, this park is filled with people who may already saw the movie, so they don't mind spoiling it for themselves. So check it out. One thing I actually just noticed is that they changed the signage right here for the Disney's Hollywood Studios. Um, this is the stage. They haven't done the Galaxy Far Far Away show yet, or the March of the Force Order. That's going to be happening here very soon, but this is new right here. But I know the stage can come and go, and that's really neat. Actually, this is actually one of my favorite, favorite attractions in all of Hollywood Studios. It's the sing-along celebration of Frozen. Loves an open door! <laughs> I'm a horrible singer, as you may already know. But I will sing for one's pleasure! <laughs> I'm a terrible singer, guys. Now already, Star Tours is a 30 minute wait. Not a bad line so far. I think progressively it'll get busier though. Here's the big thing today. Tonight, yes, like I said, Galactic Dice is happening. Tonight. Here's the problem. The ticket is like $129 per person. No way I'm going in today. That's why I'm here today to look at the spoilers of The Last Jedi. Jack. They're also giving away uh, oh, Star yeah. Wars okay. buttons if you can check it out. The Last Jedi. Spoilers. Don't look at this button. Kidding. There's no spoilers on this. Alright, so we're going down Main Street. I got Brock with me. What up? Equipped with Bear Hat. Smash <laughs> that like button for Bear Hat. Baby. Smash it for the Bear Hat. <laughs> I think one of these days we're just going to just swap phrases. Yeah. I'll, I'll get on and just say, hey gang. <laughs> and I'll just, yeah, I'll do your catchphrases, you do mine. Yes! We reciprocate catchphrases. Let's do it. This this, <laughs> this is the game plan. I dig. They got some of the coolest pins. Look at this BB-8 and BB, uh, what was it, 8-3? And they got a Last Jedi movie poster. They got a Star Destroyer pin. They have an A-Wing Starfighter and an a Oh, man, these pins are sick. A lot of great limited edition pins. Oh, hello there, honey. Oh, hello. I know that I found you, too. You know, we've been looking for you all day, though. Well, of course you have. I haven't been to bed yet. <laughs> oh. No, it's too early to go to sleep. Well, when, when's your bedtime? Uh, around 11 o'clock in the morning. In the morning? That's a solid bedtime. A little early, but hey, no judgments here. Oh. Party hard, huh? Where are you from? Sarasota, Florida. Sarasota. That's all like another state. It is. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta catch the fast bus with the stormtroopers. All my people. All right. So if you notice this uh, police telegraph box now. I know everybody knows that Disney bought 20th Century Fox, but they've had it for a very long time because this police telegraph box was actually from Freddy Got Fingered. Uh, Tom Green used this box oh, like, he as did. he was dressed as a cop. Do you remember that? I remember, Do you remember that, that scene. scene? Like it was yesterday. It was, it was crazy, <laughs> and, and, and it's right here on this building. The not out here. The non here script, are like, like, wow. Like, Disney called their shot so they long ago. They knew what they were doing. They, they knew, they knew they, Freddy Got Fingered was going to be huge. Yeah. They, they, they knew, knew but they were it's like, a it's a classic. <laughs> it is a classic it's movie, isn't it? A classic, starring Tom Green, I believe, the Academy Award winning well, actor and director. Oh, but it also had Rip Torn? Yes. Rip Torn. Rip Torn. Well, you couldn't have a movie in the 90s or, or early 2000s without Rip Torn. Oh, you got No, it. no, no. That's Men like in Black. Alec was in everything in the 80s. <laughs> and it all started with this police telegraph box. <laughs> Santa Claus! He is not coming to. We are waiting. Hello, Santa! 
Santa Claus looks like he's not coming to town. He's leaving. He's leaving town. He's out of here. Bye, Santa. So, I I really want to make sure uh -huh. that Santa gives me a Red Ryder 200 shot Raj of my little air rifle. Okay, so you're recording this to give to Santa? <laughs> no, no, no. Okay. I, I, I just want to make sure okay. that, that we'll he make gives sure. me the Red Ryder 200 shot range model air rifle. Okay. That's, that's that's kind of my goal. I, 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 I hope so. so hang, on. hang on, Santa Claus? Hey, Santa. Santa Claus? Hello, my good man! The last time I was here, man. you told me I'd shoot my eye out with a Red Rider 200 shot model range air rifle. I have these glasses, they are bulletproof. Will you like to reconsider your offer? All right, well, if you shoot your ass, that's all on you, my good man. Hey! Plus, you'll make a great pirate. You do with a patch. How could this happen to me? I made my mistakes, got nowhere to run. Fist bump, oh, fist bump. There it is, right there. Hang on, I, I, I thought I lost my party. Oh my, Brock! Whoa, hey! Brock was behind me the entire time. By the way, Brock, how do you feel about becoming a fashion icon? Um, That's two people wearing the bear hat. I'm just an icon living. Hey, I'm an icon living. Kuchike, 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 kuchike. This song is stuck in my head, guys. It's stuck in my head. Show Brock something very, very interesting about this particular area of the wall. Okay. Um, so you see this reef, right? I see the reef. Now this reef is actually connected to this little power cord right here. <laughs> so if you unplug that, you can unplug that. You can ruin all of Disney. You can interact with Disney. Yeah. By ruining it slightly. <laughs> by ruining Christmas. I've eaten at this restaurant before, but I love the bar area in here. Only because this is like mom's living room. Everybody's just kind of sitting around. I don't know why mom has so many TVs. She has one here, one here, one up here, 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 here. She has a lot. She has books. So you can finally read books. It really does look like. like Do they have mom's spaghetti? Mom has a lounge chair. Mom spaghetti. Oh, it's beautiful. Well, the Inez is if you get into some real facts about this tree. You can get to the colors. Give us some real facts about this yeah. tree. I'm telling you. And what's weird is it was given at the same time when Freddy Got Fingered was being filmed. So you can actually see. It doesn't tie into the telegram. It doesn't tie into the giant dinosaur. Eating a Christmas ornament with a Santa hat. This is chilling. This is chilling. Uh, and I think I remember I told you guys uh, there's water now with the um, little thingies in the water. You know what they call ornaments. Ornaments. Ornaments in the water. Boom. Figured it out. You have. If you notice, this park has gotten much bigger and crowdeder. It's Star Wars Day. Galactic days, anyway. Silent night, Jedi night. Love it. Love it. I need that shirt. Yeah. Goofy Gorsh! Hey. It's Goofy Gorsh! Pointed at that person and didn't say hi to uh, me. I, I, was, I was trying to get her Gorsh. Come on, Goofy. I thought we were bros, dude. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's a little stuff more going on with Star Wars Land. Again, it's going to be right here. But on the entrance. What? They took down the wall. The wall for where like Star Wars Land is gonna be. They removed it, so now you can actually see more of the entranceway of what it's gonna look like, what it's going to be. Um, if you look actually in the back, you can actually see where they're putting up the mountains with that American flag right, bam, where my finger was. They're putting in trees, like fake trees. You can see it from the inside when you're coming in. But Star Wars Land is coming together. Perfect. I also have the feeling they're gonna be opening up that section tonight. Um, <laughs> like, I have a feeling like Bat 2 is gonna be opened up tonight for Galactic Nights. That gives another room that's gonna be like for the meet and greets. I think, 
This is all rumors, this is all hearsay, but I am assuming because the the retention wall is not there and those bushes can move. Well actually nice is gonna be over there. People are gonna have the first glimpse of Batu before it's even built. I'm assuming. I don't have $129 to verify that rumor. So that's what's happening. Now I'm at this like this like rush here, but if you look K2SO <laughs> is right behind me. I hope he doesn't like kill me or destroy me. Oh, but Brock, <laughs> Brock was skipping just a minute ago. Too. He was gallivanting and skipping around. <laughs> now the cool thing that they got going on right now is that they opened up the fountain. The Muppets Fountain. And this is where you can go and check out the pond. They got Miss Piggy as, you know, Miss Liberty, water, everything. They brought it back. They brought it back right in time for Muppet Vision 3D. So this is neat. Hey, just real quick, I came back to the fountain. I want to explain a little bit more about the statue. If anybody's ever seen the great Muppet Caper, uh, this, this actually was kind of a very important thing because it was gifted to the Queen after that movie uh, by Jim Henson. But the Queen, upon learning of the death of Princess Di, she returned the statue back to Disney. Wow. Was that, was that, was that morbid? Wow. Wow. Only, wow. <laughs> only in death <laughs> did we receive the statue back. Eh? It happens. It, it happens. happens. Rest, rest in peace. So check it out, they got Santa Claus breaking and entering inside this apartment. If anybody ever comes to this area, it's actually nicely themed. I wish there was more to it though. But I like this area as far as like a downtown New York-y theme. Now they put a weird retention wall back here, so it's like less store, but, but the part that I want to make sure that everybody sees is this. This part right here. They still have these decorations, like this Disneyland here, uh, these magnets, this uh, Dole Whip sign for Aloha Isle, and again, 150 bucks. So the price of Galactic Knights will actually give you a nice artifact of Disney. So as you guys know, I like to try to do impersonations of characters, sometimes poorly. I've never done a great Kermit the Frog, but I'm gonna try. <laughs> Hello there, Kermit the Frog here. Kermit the Frog here. Kermit the Frog here. That's terrible. That's terrible. Kermit the Frog. Yeah, okay, we'll chuck that up as a failed impersonation. Tension wall, but if you walk through and just kind of go out the other way, there's Brock. We're back where we're supposed to be, but just kind of shoot you off in a circle. I thought it was something special, but uh, it's not. Oh, man. That's heavy, heavy metal Santa right there. Heavy metal Santa is in the building. Stormtroopers, listen, I found the rebel scum. Let's calm down. <laughs> All right, I, I just. The resistance spies will be found. But, You've been warned. But I just, I just, this one. I don't. God. I think I've talked about this before, and this isn't even uh, any sort of a joke. But this pain is actually a smaller version that you'll see at the Walt Disney Family Museum in San Francisco. So this is actually huge. Like if this was to scale, like you would be here. That's how big that would be. Distances from the viewer. I know I covered this before, but I still think this needs to change because this is Paradise Pier leading all the way up to California Screaming. This is going to be Pixar Pier. There's the fun wheel of death. I still have no idea what this is because there's nothing here that's all guarded. And the Melly Boomer was right here, but I, I still don't know what's going there. So if you ever come down to One Man's Dream and you just so happen to come by the theater, they typically change out the displays. Here, they have P.L. Travis Travers for beer gown. This is what she wore um, during the opening of Mary Poppins, which is awesome. You see her handbag, you see the ticket. This is cool. But you also see, if you move over here, you see the costume and the parrot umbrella from the very same movie. This is actually saving Mr. Banks. Um, so, 
That's a real, I think it's green tested outfit with the umbrella. Yeah. All right, so I'm leaving Hollywood Studios. We've been hanging. We've been hanging out. It's actually pretty, it's a lot of fun. Jack said. Tears. On don't, Jack. Don't, don't cry, oh, Jack, Jack. Don't it's cry. It's going to be all right. Don't you cry. What a funny story about those tears. Yeah. Funny uh, yeah, <laughs> story about these tears. Well, 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 uh, what do you know uh, about these tears, back Jack? Back in like 1962. Right. 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 Yeah. On uh, September the 9th, I believe that was a Tuesday. That was yeah, a, it was. I remember that clearly. Google it. Yeah. Google it if you have to. Google it for facts. A very young James Cagney. <laughs> wow. Yeah. James Cagney. Gifted you those tears? Bequeathed. Bequeathed upon you? These tears to my great, great, great grandfather. Wow. Who then passed them down to me to shed at this very moment. That's beautiful that you drank your great, great grandfather's tears. <laughs> It's more like an osmosis absorption. Okay, thing. okay. It's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a topical tear Science. thing, yeah. Science. <laughs> and Tarina's wearing the sunglasses because she can't even bear the thought that Sean bear? is leaving us. No. She sorry, just, guys. It's okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but we gotta go. I gotta leave. Say goodbye, everybody. Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye, everybody. <laughs> but again. Goodbye, everybody. I'm sick of it. I'm tired. <laughs> We're out of it. It's done. This day is done. Smash that white button. <clears throat> I'm out, baby.